Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, hello. My name is Jasmine. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only girl out there or I'm not the only person out there who's ever questioned their worth and really questioned who they are and what their purpose is in life. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about self-love, the importance of it, some of the things that have helped me in my self-love journey and who knows, maybe that might be able to help you if you are struggling with self-love. So everyone's journey in everything in life is completely different, especially when it comes to self-love. So first, I want to talk about what exactly self-love is because there's so many definitions out there, but this is the one that I remember talking about today. And what self-love means is basically taking care of your own needs and not sacrificing your well-being to please others. A lot of the time, we tend to focus on everybody else around us but ourselves. And I think that's the saddest thing we can do as humans because how are we we supposed to take care of everybody else around us if we're not taking care of ourselves first for example if you go on an airplane and let's say god forbid you know plane is going down the flight attendant tells you all right guys your mask you're gonna fall from the ceiling put it on and in the demonstration in the beginning of your flight what they typically do is show you how to put on the mask and they always tell you that if you're a parent to always put the mask on yourself first before you can put it onto your child why because how do you expect to save someone else if you don't save yourself first. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that you know what self-love is and why it's important, now we're going to talk about the things that I have done that have really helped me learn to take care of myself and love myself. So one of the first things that really helped me start my journey is really accepting who you are. You have to really accept who who you are and by that i mean accepting how you are accepting how you look accepting how you feel and accepting the situation that you're in it took me a while to really accept everything because at the end of the day you're you that's not going to change the way that you are the way that you look nothing is a lot of the times a lot of us struggle with finding ourselves just accept yourself or who you are you're good you're bad everything in general because at the end of the day you're you're one person if you make a mistake it's okay if something doesn't go your way we are not in control of everything sometimes it's such a hard thing to get out of our head because we want to be in control of everything we want to have things go our way if that makes sense and it's really difficult when you beat yourself up because you did something wrong or because you don't look the way that a certain person looks you just have to embrace who you are love yourself for everything for me one of the biggest things that i've struggled with is probably accepting my features i didn't like how i was shaped i didn't like how i looked i just i didn't there's no explanation for it i just didn't like it and then when i looked at myself in the mirror one day and i said you know what i'm not gonna beat myself up because i don't look like kylie jenner or because i don't look like selena gomez i'm not gonna beat myself up because i'm not perfect at the end of the day this is who i am and once i finished accepting myself everything else came afterwards and it was it was great so after accepting how I was, I decided that I was going to change my mindset. I was going to start thinking more positive about myself and just everything in general. It's really hard just to shift your thinking from negative to positive overnight. It's going to take practice. It's going to take a lot of, you know, dedication to it because you have to do it for 21 days straight. Why? Because you need to build a habit of thinking positive and making sure that you stay positive, even through the worst situations. With being negative, the only thing that I got from it was pure negativity all around. It's gonna take some time and some practice, but trust me, once you get it down, it becomes so much easier and you're gonna see that you're gonna start to be more positive and just confide in yourself way more. So yeah, don't be hard on yourself now because it does get easier. You just have to practice, practice, practice. So I first accepted myself, then I started to change my mindset. Then what I started to do is I started to not tolerate certain behavior. What do I mean by that? I mean that certain people in my life were triggering that negativity. So what I had to do, cut it off, cut them out of your life. One thing that I've really realized within the past couple of years is that not everyone in your life is gonna stay in your life. People are placed in your life for a reason. They're either a blessing or a lesson. And you can't really fight with that. Sometimes people are meant to be in your life for a short term. Other people are supposed to be in your life forever. People come and go and there's nothing you can really do about it. But if you see someone in your life that's really holding you back from the life that you deserve or the life that you want, then it just means that you have to cut them off permanently. And it's gonna hurt, yes. But at the same time, this is your life and you don't need to 
validate your feelings to anyone you don't need to justify yourself because at the end of the day it's your life and you do what you want it also goes into my next point to stop being around people who disrespect you if someone's insulting you leave because if you don't cut them off they're gonna continue nagging you they're gonna continue making you feel like complete ass and you don't want that you want to feel good about life you want to feel good about living in your life and if you have negative people and be people being rude to you disrespectful telling you this and that this and that it's no good for you cut them out of your life also go into my next point which is stop giving people chances the point of self-love is to prioritize yourself and if someone hurts you what and you say you know what i'm gonna give you another chance hurting yourself on purpose that's honestly pure stupidity why because they already hurt you the first time what makes you think they're not gonna hurt you again when you give people chance after chance all you're doing is letting them hurt you one after the other and that's the worst thing you can do for yourself so stop giving people chances because they should have known better from the start that you are so worth it and so special and if they couldn't see that the first time then walk away after you t you get rid of all the negative in your life literally all the negative now what you're gonna do is you're gonna surround yourself with pure positivity you're gonna find people in your life that are so worth it and that make you feel so good about yourself and make you feel like you are such a bomb queen it's crazy what positivity can do not only for yourself but for others you learn so much from everybody else and create such a beautiful bond and such a positive environment for you to learn grow prosper everything and it's just the greatest feeling in the world when that's done one of the biggest things that has helped me when it comes to self-love is accepting the fact that all of it is gonna take time why because finding self-love accepting yourself all of that that doesn't just happen overnight all of that takes time and it's gonna take so much patience and you have to be patient with yourself I used to beat myself up because I wasn't seeing results and I wasn't feeling good about myself at all and I didn't see anything I felt like I was wasting my time my energy everything after a while I wanted to give up but I didn't and I'm finally in a place in my life where I can say that I reached self-love and I continue it every single day this isn't something that comes overnight this isn't something that you snap your fingers and it's there because it's not letting you know that it takes time it takes a lot of patience and especially a lot of patience with yourself because I failed this a couple times until I got it right and I'm you know and it's okay to fail it's okay to fail and it doesn't mean that you're that it's not working sometimes you have to fail one two three times in order for you to get it right and there's nothing wrong with that so if you guys do you know start to take the steps to find self-love and love yourself unconditionally do not feel bad because you don't get it on the first try it's not the end of the world and trust me at the end it will be worth it another thing that has really helped me love myself and practice self-love is the act of forgiveness growing up i did a lot of stupid things and i hurt a lot of people and i wasn't proud of a lot of things that i have done in my past i've held on to all of it for such a long time it weighed so much on me and i hated it i hated it to the point where i ended up releasing it i ended up you know i wrote a couple letters to a lot of people in my life just saying i'm sorry because sometimes when you apologize for even the littlest thing it can feel so good afterwards and i felt so relieved something was just lifted off my shoulder like i felt so good about myself afterwards yes i did things and I said things in the past that I probably shouldn't have but you know what that's the part of learning that's the part of life in general because of those things I'm proud to be who I am today I had to learn to forgive myself to move on to let go I'm not telling you that's gonna be easy either because it took me a while to even get the ball to even send out letters to even talk to people that I haven't talked to in years and apologize it takes balls and it takes patience with yourself but you can't beat yourself up over something that already happened People hold on to grudges for forever because they're like, you know what? I'm such a horrible person. I did this. Everybody hates me. Everybody sees me like this. But you know what? Give yourself a break. 
forgive yourself for whatever it is that you ever did and if you can apologize to the person that you did it to and i'm telling you you're gonna see how much you know relief you're gonna get another thing that has really helped me is learning to be assertive i remember i used to say yes to literally everything and everyone and that was probably the worst thing i could have done for myself i needed to learn to put my foot down and not let people walk all over me and that's where assertiveness came into my life and i never really took it seriously until like probably two years ago i put my foot down and i didn't let anyone walk over me at all i say no if i want there's nothing wrong with saying no either because at the end of the day it is your life and you choose whatever it is you want to do learn to be assertive you kind of have to really put yourself first before you can put anyone else a lot of the times we focus so much on the future but one of the biggest mistakes that i have done is focus too much on the future and not in the moment i basically missed like four years of my life because i was so focused on the future so we really kind of just had to learn to live in the moment much easier said than done all of this is but at the end of the day once you guys learn really accept yourself change the way that you think not tolerate certain behaviors not allow people to disrespect you be patient with yourself forgive yourself be assertive and just live life to the fullest you're gonna see how much you're gonna grow last thing that i want to talk to you guys is the benefits of self-love so one you're gonna be less stressed and you're gonna have less anxiety. This is something that I am big on because I struggled with anxiety, still struggle with it, but I've learned how to handle it, I've learned how to deal with it, and I know a lot of things that have helped me cope with it. But when we love ourselves, we are less likely to get trapped in self-denial, meaning we won't let those negative thoughts take over. And that's something so great and so powerful, and it's the best feeling in the world, especially for someone who has struggled so much with anxiety, and it's so uncomfortable scary and the thing that has helped me reduce my anxiety is focusing on self-love and my love another benefit of self-love is basically is a higher level of satisfaction for example you can do the smallest thing and you'll feel so damn good about my by yourself like another thing ladies hear me out so another benefit that goes into self-love is a boost of attraction when you're healthy mentally and emotionally and you love yourself people see it i don't know what it is it's a self-love glow that people just sense and they're like you know what this girl this girl is hot why because she loves herself and she'll be able to love me one day because she knows that she is worth it and that she loves herself so the last two benefits of self-love basically a stronger motivation and personal growth these two things I have seen within myself the past couple of months. I don't know what happened, I don't know what it is that I did, but because I've been taking care of myself and saying no and doing things that I want to do, I've seen tremendous growth in myself mentally and emotionally and physically and that is the greatest motivation you can ever get because you want more. It's just a really good feeling overall. I wouldn't be where I am today and how I feel about myself and how I view myself if it weren't for me starting my self-love journey. And I'm so glad that I was able to do it. I'm so glad that I was able to push myself and never give up because I'm happy with how I am now today. I'm happy how I, you know, see life and my focus on things are completely different and I feel like a brand new me and I want to share that with the world that's why I started this series on my channel all related to mental health and self-care remember this and every single day for the rest of your life that you are important you are worth it you are beautiful in your own way and that you are loved hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up also let me know down in the comments below what other videos you would like to see relating to mental health and just self-care in general and if you guys aren't already make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification on so you're notified every time that i post as well as follow me on my social medias everything will be in the description below i hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great life and remember you are worth it you are beautiful and you are loved Bye, guys.